let's move on to part three, which is going to be about tasks and using Keep in the Google Gmail inbox. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I think is a sort of hidden gem in the Gmail inbox, but I guess it's not that hidden. Uh, I just didn't know it was there right away. So I'm going to move my face over there to that side of the screen. And the thing I want to show you is how you can set up your inbox to have a task list for you and how you can also keep emails that you might want to read again later without necessarily having to put filters on them. So over here, I have my little arrow. So at the bottom right corner of your Gmail inbox, and hopefully you're using a Chrome browser because that's where your Gmail inbox is going to work best you have the option to hit that and pull out a side panel. By default, you should have your calendar there, this little yellow light bulb thing. Let me zoom in a bit, there we go. And then also this tasks there, with like a little blue circle with a pen in it. Um, I went ahead and added something else, but you can ignore that. So here I have this keep or this tasks. Now, the first time you click on your tasks, Nothing's going to show up here. Um, it's going to say something like, welcome to task, click to use it. But basically what this is, is it's a really neat area where you can click and you can create lists, different kinds of lists that you want to do. So I'm going to click create new list. And maybe this list is something like my Tuesday tech tips because I'm trying to add more information about those and that can be a list of things I need to do. I can actually just go ahead and add here. So I'll need to edit tech tip for 424 on Gmail, on organizing your Gmail box. I don't know what I'm calling it. All right, so that's just something I need to do. But the other neat thing is I can actually just grab an email and drop it in there. Sorry, I get really excited about simple things. But it's really neat because I can just click there to open up that email. And I love this feature. So it will still show in your inbox. Um, so I've already read it, so it's no longer my unread area. Let me just show you. It's actually under my everything else. So if I wanted to move it somewhere else, I could also move to, and I could put it under a different label. I can also just go ahead and archive it now that I've put it in my tech tips. Um, I'm going to move it to a different folder because I like to stay organized like that. So I'm just going to move it to my ETS folder since it's from Cheryl. Okay. So that's how you can add your tasks on the right. And truly, I really like this. So I can pull that in there, and I can just move that workshop ideas over to another thing. It's wonderful. right? And again, I can also add other tasks. You can change some of the settings, like the sort order. You can do it by date. right? You can go ahead and make it your own order and just move them around. Like I can move that to the bottom. This one I should think I should put at the top. You can also click that pencil next to them to edit a little bit more. You can add more details on it. I need to make a lot of edits. My kid popped in at one point. I can change the date and time. I want it done today. So I'm going to set it today and I'm going to pick 5 p.m. and hit OK. And I could even add subtasks. So um, I need to record the opening still or whatever else I would need to do, all right? So now when I go back, I can see that task and then under it, I have other tasks. And then once you're done with the task, you click this complete and it just says one completed. And it's really great. All right, so that's how I get my tasks together using the task sidebar in Inbox, and I really love it. I've said that like 10 times. <laughs> the other thing I really like in Inbox is sometimes I'll get an email that has like an article in it or that someone just sent me extra information that I want to read later, but I don't really have the time to read it right now. 
So what I've done before is I've actually set up a label and just gone ahead and labeled those emails and I've drug them over. So let's say, I know I have a conference email somewhere in here, but let's say it's for a conference I'm participating in. Um, I used to have a label for those, or let's say that Cheryl sent me, okay, take a look at this new extension. Um, I think I had one for Google tools. I've got, I've tried to, during the demo, I've been moving some stuff around, but I could move this over to a specific folder, right? And I could drop it in there. And it just goes over there and I know I can check that label later. But the other thing I can do if I want to keep an email that I want to look at later is use this keep feature. So you click on that keep. Now you're not going to see this right away, but this is a notes area. So it's going to prompt you where it's like, put all your Google notes in here. So I'll be honest, I use keep a lot less than I use the task area because I kind of like to just mark things done once I've read them. But there might be a case where you want to take a note and go ahead and add an email in there. So one way to do that is if you're opening up your email and say, I'm reading through um, Jeff's newest video and this is really great, this is awesome. So instead of keeping it as a task because I've already read it, I just might want to keep it as a note and to do that I can just click on take a note and you see there it's already put that email in there. So I could make this the uh, CFLT videos and then I could call it 10 or something and then um, watch it again. I don't know. However I want to use it. There are other cases where like I said I use it for articles sometimes or just things I want to always have on hand. In the menu here, you can also archive them or delete them. Uh, if you click this open and keep, it will actually take you to this whole Google Keep area. And keep is just a lot more robust than just the task area. So you could even go in here and um, create some different checkboxes. So if you wanted to make this also a task area, you could do that as well. Um, you can make different lists and all kinds of things. Uh, so think about it as the task area in your inbox being more of a, okay, I need to do this, I need to respond, I need to get this done. And the keep area being more of a long term, I, these might be things I want to watch. You could categorize them a little differently. You can add emails to them or you can just use keep standalone as a place for your notes. All right. Thanks for watching the videos today. I tried to get a little bit of my exercise in with this balance board. Uh, <laughs> I encourage you to do the same. Everyone have a great weekend and I hope these help you manage your inbox a little bit better. Hi, I'm Iron Girl. She's Iron Girl because she has a light in her dress. She really wanted to say that.